man, we're moving right along. Let's hope this don't break. See a lot of torque. Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Hey guys, welcome back. We're fixed up. So uh, last video, if you've seen, we uh, destroyed the unload system on this combine and we believe we've got it fixed. So the shaft twisted off where the belts uh, tighten up on the pulley that then converts to the chain. That shaft, that's maybe like an inch and a quarter shaft, broke right off. Um, I guess from talking to a couple different mechanics, this ain't an abnormal thing to happen. Um, don't know if they had a bad set of shafts or if the shaft just is undersized, but long story short, it happened and it cost us, long and the short of it, maybe six to eight hours of harvesting. Uh, but Brody has been running my combine, Air Force One. I am now heading to the field to help him. He's been combining all morning and he worked last night by himself and it's, it's drastically slower with one combine as you know two combines i would say is definitely over double as fast just for opening fields up and everything but this is i've maybe never ran this combine more than setting it um so it's a lot different uh brody's comment to me was i love the tracks and I like this gearing off head. It's a lot quieter in the cab. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be running this one today just cause he's moved into there, into that combine for the day and then I'm gonna kick him out tomorrow. Uh, but I'm gonna run this and see what I think of the new folding John Deere head and then the um, harvest sweep on this. So we're gonna run the wheeled combine. It's definitely a lot more bouncier and wider going down the road. Not really a fan of the width, but uh, got big rubbers on this one for mud which is fortunately not exist non-existent this year thank you lord combining it's a different view different head different view uh, so the major difference that we have seen between the gearing hop and this head is how much shorter the gearing hop's snouts are, or crop row dividers, if you want to be technical. Um, much shorter, not a big deal when you're going down the field straight here, but when you get into curves, it becomes a very big deal. The shorter the snout, the better off you are because you can round corners a lot better. This corn is horrible. My gosh, where has he got this? So two different combine operators. I have mine set up way different than he does uh, with screens, uh, functions on the joystick. You better not be screwing up my cap. I'll deal with it today. It's bumpy in here. Brody, it's so bumpy in this machine. Now you know my pain. And you're right, it's louder. Why is it louder? I don't know. What's the hold up, Brody? What's the hold up? Plug is inside row. Oh boy, plug row unit. All right, guys, we uh, been having a pretty good day up until whatever's going on here. Nothing has broke. We've completed uh, 150. 70 acres, not including what we've been working on this field. And actually, this is one of Eric's fields. Um, it's actually what I'm going to call his home place. And yeah, corn's really good. It's good for him. I'm excited. It's always fun combining corn, no matter whose it is. But um, it's another exciting event, That uh, another first for him. Haven't filmed much because, believe it or not, we have two 790s. 
Um, and they're both very different. For one, I don't like how he's got his screen set up, but that's just personal preference. Um, and I could change it, but I don't want to mess up his combine because he's going to be back in it tomorrow, I hope. Um, but the tires, man, that is so different. The Hydro is a lot more responsive just because it don't pull as hard. Uh, the tracks pull a lot harder. Uh, this thing has, I would say, probably more power because of not having tracks on. But the ride and the bounciness and then a different grain hopper topper, it loads. Like, I can get a lot more on this combine. Now, with that being said, it's so big and you can really cap corn really bad. And I found out. But that's just, you know, once an operator gets in a machine, it's kind of best to keep them in that same machine just because they get to know how that machine runs and it's supposed to sound and you just get familiarized with everything and it, it just goes a lot smoother. I felt pretty out of control uh, for the first hour and a half of running this combine even though I've ran uh, about probably 200 hours in that other one this year. I think is about how many hours we put on. Oh man, Saturday night? We're taking the first Sunday off, what? In eight years? <laughs> Literally, unless it was a rain delay. I think our bodies, think bodies need it. Everyone's shot, the season is still going well. We're ahead of schedule. And we got good weather next and week. Good weather and we're maybe a week away from being done. And then the fun starts. All right, what fun? Cleaning? Yeah, that's the fun part. Well, I'm glad you work here. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. Today's once again the day that we get to take the dock out of the lake. I just put that thing in the lake, it seems like, but we're going to need one backhoe, some power equipment or tools, and uh, let's go get that thing out of the water. But first, we got to go take one little quick check of the grain bin site. You wouldn't believe the people that are hacking on me for not having my diesel fuel barrels painted. You know how it is once you get used to something? You just don't even see it anymore, but we're gonna have to do something about that because it's it's gotten so popular to hack on me about that that I'm gonna have to do something. So. We've tried to do something once on that east one, where just the top of it is kind of gray. Uh, we primed it, and we painted it the next day, but the upper half of the nice white paint, within a year, all fell off, and so that's why the top of it is gray, if you care. Some of you must, because, well, whatever. It holds fuel. That's the important thing. Once again, it's very windy and a high of 40 today. And uh, I wish I could have shown you last night our other two. Oh, our other two bins got full on us, and somebody's calling. I'll be right back after this short message. Okay, I'm back. Um, that was Dad, by the way. He had a he had to visit with me this morning. So uh, our other two bins are full. So we actually started dumping in the new 200,000 bushel bin last night at around eight o'clock. So I was gonna get some I was gonna get some footage of the first few kernels going into there because well I was gonna and I didn't so. Now I can't open up the door. The thing is full, covered up. So, um, sorry about that, but it is what it is. We're gonna go and pull her out. I am now pouring this grain bin out into the smaller bin. We're taking the center of the bin out, transferring it to another bin. I am working the gate fully open to try to get that center to break free. Sometimes it offloads or unloads a little bit 
to the side so the car stays in there. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying. So the idea of doing this is the center of the bed, as we have told you before, does not does not really cool very well because of uh, all the fines, stuff like this. That will actually fall down into the dead center of the bend. If your load spout is dropping in the center of the bend, which we might have issues. It's kind of, the new bend is not loading dead center because it's such a long fall, just a little bit of a angle of the chute or the spout that the corn comes out of. If that's off a little bit, it throws the grain to one side. We're gonna have to address that, but everything went good last night. The dryer master is doing what it's supposed to do. No complaints yet. So, um, everything's been going really well other than one gas valve on a dryer, which I haven't gotten the bill yet, but I'm sure that's going to be in the 2500 if not more, if you care. Okay, back to the backhoe to get the docks out. Well, I thought I'd... A lot of guys have been wondering what them uh, mats are with holes in. It just cuts down on splashing. A lot of Instagram guys, I was asking, what's that for? It's, uh, it's for splashing purposes. It helps, and it is old belting out of a live bottom that we went and cut a bunch of six inch round holes in it. So now you know. Things look a lot different around here. Definitely the end of the season is among us. Amongst us? You know what I mean. Sorry for the wind, but Got to yank it all back up. Boat lifts or the jet ski lifts and stuff go over there. The dock, I usually pull that up over there on the old, on the driveway. So, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you because it is cold. Um, and batteries on these cameras, well, they don't like the cold neither. So, bear with us. Okay, I've got reinforcements. He's looking for the log chain. What a wonderful day off. Yeah. Yeah, let's take the Sunday off. All the guys are tired. Okay, that sounds good. Get a nap. Oh yeah, you want to come over and take the dock out today? A lot of lip moving. A lot of not working. Okay. We're gonna maybe run out of battery because it's so cold, but here we go. That's what good help looks like. No, they're they're good workers. We'll see how good they are. All right, it's a job that's got to be done. I just wish it was done before it's 40 mile an hour wind and uh, 41 degrees outside. Woo! Forget how cold fall winds can be. All right, Dago. It ain't so bad with heavy equipment, but the temperature is what's so sucky about today. What do you think? He should have swung it over more because that's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> We gotta check the bird nest? I guess so. They abandoned the nest? They must have. 
Might we proceed? It's cold. Would you like to share your hat with me? No, not really. <laughs> oh man, we're moving right along. Let's hope this don't break. See a lot of torque. Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh my, the expensive, expensive electric lift almost just took her. We gotta hook up here and go that way. Narrow, narrowly avoided that very bad expensive problem. Thank goodness. Forgot how the face doesn't move when it gets cold. Well, only one more to go, and it's the biggest and heaviest and probably most expensive one of all. What are you doing? Are you trying to wreck stuff? He told me that he raised, he told me he raised the legs, but uh, apparently he did not raise the legs. Why are the legs still out? I thought you said you raised the legs. We got into this last year. What? Oh, they label it up and down? What are they talking about? I did the same thing last year. Look at that. Up. Do you want the wheel up or do you want the dock up? The lid. Well, it appears like you probably ruined it now. I'll buy a new one. Just out of spite. back to normal and winter's coming only wish you could feel that nice nippy air that the uh, coming across the lake hey is that your railing project that still ain't done right back there yeah somebody made me go and harvest the crop you know our livelihood <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's cold. Bring your dog with? No, why? Oh, that's too bad. Why? <laughs> uh, where is it? Where is where's, what? Where's the cat? <laughs> We're downstairs. <laughs> you got her done? Yes. I got food. Oh boy. That was what I did. You called out there for me. You complain about food, making food a lot, but... I make Today I would have volunteered, I think. <laughs> it was pretty cold out there.